It is the story of a high school graduation four decades in the making. Karina is a San Jose working mom, and her road to getting her degree was longer than most. But she never gave up, and as Kit Doe shows us, she finally reached her goal, and it may surprise you how she did it. If you thought high school was tough at 18, try waiting a few decades. This is the story of Karina Rath and a life detour of 42 years. I'm proud of myself, and I don't think I've ever been proud of myself like I am today. As a young teen, Karina was a good student, even voted funniest and most popular. But as John Lennon said, life is what happens when you're busy making other plans. I dropped out when I was 16, so I had a baby. And um, I kept trying to go back to school, and I kept, I, didn't, I don't think I had the support I needed. For years, Karina tried to do it on her own, taking courses whenever, wherever she could. I had no choice. You know, I had to study in the middle of the kitchen with my son. As if studying wasn't hard enough, she did it during the pandemic while caring for Chris, her newly adopted toddler with special needs. She took the GED and high school equivalency test four times, and every time, she failed. You beat yourself up? I did. I felt like I'm never going to do it. I'm never going to be able to get my high school diploma. There's just no way. Reality hit when Karina was working at a cafe. She was looking for a better paying job and saw many of them required one thing. I would have to have a high school diploma, you know, at my age, you know, and stuff. I have to work, you know, I don't got no rich husband, <laughs> you know. And so Karina, beat down, demoralized, but still determined, found herself here at the MLK Library in downtown San Jose. Come on in. It turns out their high school diploma program has a success rate of 72%. That is the highest in the state. That's because they have one big requirement. You know, you're going to be able to do it as long as you put in the time. Patrick Schroeder, who now lives in New York, was Karina's tutor. They met at least once a week, three hours each time for nearly a year. He says at first she came in with no confidence, but plenty of shame. I think that's part of the growth that happens with people who join this program, is they show their potential to move past traumatic uh, circumstances and move and be their best pe be the best people they can be. Not to mention, she also took online classes, did homework, and ran a busy household. Catherine McBain helps run the literacy program at the library. I knew Karina had a lot on her plate. I thought, you know what? I couldn't do it. <laughs> I couldn't do it. And I was like, oh, I, you know, I'm going to pray for Karina. I'm going to, I'm going to, ugh. Everything we could put in place to support you, we, we were going to, but in the end, you had to do the work. I never looked at the library as part of our social safety net. When did that happen? Oh my gosh, when did that happen? Um, I think it has been happening just year after year after year. Don Coppin is the head of the San Jose Library Foundation. And thanks to donations and grants, the high school diploma classes are free for all San Jose residents. Since 2016, they've helped 143 people graduate. All right. What's more, high school graduates graduates make more money. Karina finally got a better job as a caregiver with a pay raise of 28 percent. Karina Rath? Would you say that it benefits society? I absolutely would say that more people who go through the Career Online High School program through the San Jose Public Library makes San Jose as a city a stronger, more vibrant and thriving place for us all. What do you want to tell everybody out there who might be doubting themselves? Don't. Keep going. Do it. You can do it. It's going to be worth it at the end. For some, the path to success is not a straight line. It's a part of the family. <laughs> Instead, it's a lifelong journey with peaks and valleys that comes full circle. In San Jose, Kitto, KPIX5. Congratulations, all the smiles and cheers there. The San Jose Public Library Foundation is celebrating its 35th anniversary with a gala next Thursday, October 20th. It'll be from 6 to 9 p.m. at the Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Library. And you can certainly find more information on tickets or how to donate at sjplf.org.